Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how we can predict currency exchange rates with the help of machine learning, right? So first thing first, uh, let's import a few libraries. So the first library that we are going to import is NumPy. So let's import NumPy as NP and after that let's import Pandas as PD, right? So after doing both of them, what is the next step? The next step is to import matplotlib. So for that, let's write import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and import seaborn as sns. So let's run both of them as well. And uh, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to import regression from seaborn, right? So from seaboard import regression. So let's do that. And after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the grid and the settings of my uh, seaboard, right? And other than that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the grid uh, method for seaboard right and i'm going to use white grid right so for that i'm going to write plt dot style dot use and in this i'm going to write seaborn dash white grid so after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the data that we are going to use right so for that let's write data is equal to pd dot read underscore csv and in this i'm going to write download dot csv so let's see the data so this is the complete data right it is until the third of 2023 right and it is giving us the open and high and low and close of every day right so what can we do with the help of this data we can predict the exchange rate that is going to be in the next days with the help of the days that we have right so the first thing that i want to do is i want to show you the exchange rate graphically right so for that i'm going to write plt dot figure right and in this I'm going to write fixed size is equal to 10 comma 4 and after that I'm going to write plt dot title and in this I'm going to write inr and usd exchange rate right okay after that we are going to give it an x label so we are going to write plt dot x label date and other than that i am going to write plt dot y label and here i am going to write close right to see uh, what we are closing on in each date right so after that i'm going to write plt dot show and here i'm going to write data and close and plt dot show so let's do that so we have this graph right and uh, in this graph as we can see that these are the dates and these are the closing values for each date right so it's starting from zero and it is going for beyond 20 right so this is it this is what i meant and what is the next step the next step is to actually we can do, do two things the first thing is we can actually see the correlation as well right uh, uh, but what i'm going to do is i'm going to 
jump straight into the prediction part right so what are the things that are going to be in the x and what are the things that are going to be in the y right so out of all of these four rows five rows sorry uh, i am going to take open high and low as x right and i am going to take this close as y right so that is very simple what i have to do is I, I have to write x is equal to data and in this i'm going to tell it the columns that we are going to use for you know x which is the input and after that we are going to give in the column that we are going to use right here okay and after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, you know uh, make the numpy array out of them right so x is equal to x dot two underscore numpy and after that y is equal to y dot two underscore numpy and later what we are going to do is we are going to reshape y as well right so y is equal to y dot reshape and i'm going to write minus one comma one so let's run that and after that i am going to write from sklearn dot model underscore selection import train underscore test underscore split right and after that i'm going to write x train comma x test comma y train comma y test is equal to train underscore test underscore split and in this i'm going to write x comma y comma test underscore size is equal to 0 0.2 right so 80 percent will be for training and 20 percent will be for testing and then i'm going to write random state is equal to 42 right so let's run that as well and uh, uh, the algorithm that i'm going to use is decision tree regressor right so for that i'm going to write from sklearn dot tree import decision tree rig wrestle and after that i'm going to write model is equal to decision tree regressor right and other than that i'm going to write model dot fit and i'm going to perform the fitting on x train comma y train right so let's do that first so after performing the fitting what we can do is we can also perform the prediction for that i'm going to write y predict is equal to model dot predict p r e d i c t which is a function right and i'm going to write x test here and x test are the values that we wanted to test on right so those are the last 20 percent values and after that what we can do is we can showcase y predict so these are the values that we have predicted 80.97 then uh, 82.18 and these will be the values that are going to be coming next right so in the same way we can do any sort of uh, prediction algorithm and develop any sort of you know machine learning based algorithm with the help of a uh, scalar right other than that we are uh, can use uh, multiple type of data sets for this as well right so this was one data set in which we predicted how much currency can be changed other than that there are a lot of other data sets that we can use as well right so if you want to keep uh, you know learning about machine learning and seeing videos like that keep watching ai sciences